up? Yeah, I'll bring you guys another video. Ted Cheeseman versus James Metcalf. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. and Please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So if you guys didn't know, this fight is taking place this weekend, this Saturday on the 25th of March in the undercard of this fight. Povetkin, for, oh, 27th of March, I'm sorry, 27th of March, not 25, 27th of March over in Gibraltar in Europe in the undercard of Povetkin versus White 2, which will be shown live on The Zone, D-A-Z-N. It's a good event, good card in my opinion. I'm looking forward to it. Cannot wait. And this fight, ooh, this fight between Chisman and Metcalf is definitely going to be a banger of a fight. Ted Chisman, you know, I've been following him from the UK. Um, after his fight against Sergio Garcia, I I'm more convinced that he's more of a domestic level fighter. Um, you know, the Sergio Garcia fight proved that to me. Domestic level in, in the UK. And then he lost to Scott Fitzgerald. And now here he is fighting another Brit in James Metcalf, who is 32 years old now from Liverpool, undefeated, 21-0, 13 wins combo by way of Nakar TKO. He too is a domestic level fighter, just basing on his resume. And uh, yeah, he has yet to fight pretty much like a... a I mean, I know he fought a Teiro, a Teiro Nieto, but you know, he's still more of a domestic level fighter, similar to Ted Chisman. So... The way I see this fight playing out, it's definitely going to be a pretty entertaining fight. Mitkalf loves to bang. Ted Chisholm loves to bang. It's going to be a back and forth action between the two. It's going to be all action packed. And pretty much the tougher, stronger fighter will come out victorious. Ted Chisholm has experience on his side. He's been in there against better opposition compared to James Mitkalf. And normally, I, I would lean towards somebody who has more experience. But actually... I'm leaning towards the underdog. I feel like Metcalf is the, definitely the underdog in this fight, considering that he's lesser known and he has, uh, you know, he hasn't really fought anyone that notable just of yet. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm actually leaning towards the underdog. My logically, you know, my mind tells me Ted Chisholm. You know, his experience on his side, he's been there against better opposition. He's proven uh, that he can at least go the distance against a top, you know, fighter. Um, but my gut feeling tells me that. Uh, Metcalf will actually pull off the upset. That's what my gut feelings tell me. I mean, it won't be easy. It's going to be a lot of back and forth action between the two. There's going to be close moments here and there. It's going to be a close fight, no doubt about it. But my gut feeling tells me that Metcalf is going to win this fight. And apparently, it's going to be for the vacant uh, British uh, Super Welterweight title. So that belt will be on the line. Who was the last holder of that belt? Let me just check real quick. Okay, so it's Scott Fitzgerald uh, vacated the title. I mean, I guess, I mean, he hasn't fought since 2019, so that makes sense. So two Brits going at it should be inter interesting, should be entertaining. Again, this uh, weekend on the 27th of March, not 25th, 27th of March, tune in on The Zone, Sky Sports, pay-per-view in the UK. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.